Now, that doesn't look like Cher. <laughs> That looks sort of like Julie Andrews after rather a lot of coffee. What exactly are you doing there? Um, that's, that's the beginning of one of my Crazy World comedy shows, um, where I am, in fact, dressed as a nun um, and <laughs> singing as um, Madonna. Yes. And as you can see from that one, um, that was Dolly Parton. Just pause. You see, people say that, you know, I'm often conscripted into paragraphs where people say obviously and basically. Do, can, we, can we get the end of that film up again? You say, obviously, that was... <laughs> there you are. So and I've, the... like, disappeared behind stage. Yes, I can see you disappeared behind the screen. <laughs> and I'm quickly taking my clothes off. Quickly taking your clothes off, yes. And... <laughs> That's Dolly Parton? Yes. <laughs> Madam, I have to tell you, I'm glad you clarified it, because, having seen it, I thought it was Naughty Holder. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not all you do. You also do a bit of an Avril thing as well. Yes, it's, it's that, that's what this is. That's the world the, of Avril. The crazy world of Avril. Understood. You've hired her before. Yeah. And I have to say, in fairness to you, Ben, you describe her, this is my emphasis, not yours, as being rather jolly good, correct? Yeah. How much do you charge for this? It depends, really, for what night it is, where it is, the distance that I'm travelling, whether of there's course. no right stay. But... Well, you've done various places. I've got a list. You've done London, yes? Yes. Scotland, various parts, yes? Yes. You've even gone to some rather foreign exotic fields, such as? Uh, I've, I've, I lived in ten, uh, ten years in Tenerife. Tenerife? Um, I've been to Cuba. I've been to Las Vegas. Did you perform that in Cuba? Yes. <laughs> There wasn't some sort of sanction. No, <laughs> it was it was in uh, where, where the the complex that we actually were staying. They invited you to do that. You didn't just bring your costume. Yeah, I did. I actually just took my costumes and took the music just in case. <laughs> and in Egypt. Uh, no, no, madam. I need a moment. <laughs> when somebody is going to a country which is just emerging from the throes of communism, I can understand why being concerned. I don't know. You might take some staples with you. Do you understand? <laughs> some people attend and visit Cuba with various novels, for example, concerned that the local population haven't necessarily had access to material that gives them a global sense of the world. Do you understand? Yes. You, on your visit to Cuba, went with a Dolly Parton costume. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't take Dolly Parton. I took Cher and Tina Turner. You took Cher and Tina Turner? Yeah, cos there's not... There's, there's, there's not as much packaging in the suitcase. <laughs> I, I had to keep them pretty low, and obviously Dolly has rather large breasts. Yes! So. <laughs> I understood. Plus, it would have been a terribly awkward discussion at customs. It, well, it was with the Cher costume, to be fair, cos there's a whip, so... <laughs> <laughs> the, case, the case did get opened and out came... Well, I need a moment. There are you, at Cuban customs. <laughs> they open this up and they say, Senora, <laughs> que? <laughs> <laughs> And what uh, did you ro say? Ropa para animacion. <laughs> and they said? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, costumes for, for, for singing, for entertainment. 